In March 2010, some 40 high-level religious leaders drafted and signed a personal commitment to do more in response to HIV. Since then, over 450 religious leaders have joined them. The personal pledge is unique because signers agree to report every 18 months on how they have fulfilled their commitment. The results of this second report present hope, questions and challenges for all of us as we respond to HIV and work together to achieve the three zeros. The report is based on information provided by some 50 religious leaders via an online questionnaire and in-depth interviews. Religious leaders reported on their words and actions in response to HIV over the past 18 months. The vast majority of religious leaders had spoken frequently about HIV within their faith and wider communities. But it is not just the fact that religious leaders are speaking about HIV that matters. It is what they are saying. Therefore, some issues have been taken up as clear advocacy priorities by many. But the issues that are less spoken about could help to indicate focus areas for future awareness raising and competence building. Religious leaders also reported on their interactions and dialogue with people living with and vulnerable to HIV. As religious leaders reflected on the impact of their words and actions in response to HIV, they explored the level of participation of people living with HIV in their faith communities. It is clear that while many faith communities are places of inclusion and welcome for people living with HIV, many others are still struggling. Religious leaders also reflected on the impact that their engagement in the HIV response had had on them personally. In every case, the respondents indicated that their work had made a difference in some way. When cross-analyzing the survey and interview responses, the report identified five key findings. First, faith-based leadership is critical to stigma reduction, yet more remains to be done. Secondly, an effective faith-based and society-wide response to HIV is only possible if people living with HIV participate meaningfully. Third, support for the faith-based HIV response has the potential to deliver greater results. Fourth, a perceived decrease in attention to HIV is cause for concern. And fifth, gaps remain in responding effectively to the root causes of vulnerability to HIV. Please consider how you can inspire, challenge and empower more religious leaders to be part of the response to HIV and AIDS. Please also provide the Ecumenical Advocacy Alliance with your comments and reactions to this report. We have done and are doing a lot, but together we must still do more and better. <laughs>